Welcome back to another one of Ken Block's Guide to Awesome Can-Am Riding Spots. Is it riding spots? It's a riding spot. It's a riding spot. It's definitely a riding spot, and it's definitely a wild one, too. <laughs> I like this part of my job. I get to come out and ride some of my favorite places in the world with the Can-Ams and talk about it. It's pretty fun. I've never seen sand dunes like this in my life. Well, they're actually it... called pink sand dunes, but they don't look that pink to me. They look very orange. But this is Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park. It's in Southern Utah by Kanab. From Vegas, it's about 180 miles. From Chicago, Illinois, it'd be about 1,600 miles. From somewhere else like Houston, Texas, it'd be about 1,300 miles. And I came from Park City, crap, and I don't even remember how many miles it is. So the state park itself is about 3,700 acres and the OHV part is about 2,000 acres. So a lot of room to go out and shred. The dunes themselves are 10,000 to 15,000 years old. The sand's really soft and the wind is able to move it around and make these really steep dunes. They're really quite different than any other dune I've ever driven these things on. You can stay in campgrounds and hotels. There's also primitive camping just outside the park. That's where we're staying. There's also more campgrounds around the Kanab area. Lots of ways to come here and stay and enjoy this cool park. We got two different setups. Party mode here. We built up this one to be a dune shredding machine. And we got adventure mode. It's got lighting setups. It's got lots of storage up top and on the back for drinks full stereo system, a spare tire, that setup that you could rip through the dunes, but then there's a ton of trails that go out all around here. So there's a lot of different ways to use these two different setups. My slightly older two-seater here is on a full paddle setup and it's all wheel drive, so there's actually paddles on the front. So I like to run around a lot in rear wheel drive, but you stop in a hill or something, you need that four wheel drive. The front wheels of this do have paddles on them. When I say party mode, we've got lights. So I have an app on my phone where you can change the lighting, the color, the gradients, even some lights underneath. I mean, we're partying. Don't let him get you twisted, all right? Ken's got underglow on the Can-Am. <laughs> He's gone full hot boy with the thing. Hey, I grew up in Southern California and climb us that standard spec. So we had to bring it out here. That's right. So we're gonna go out and have a lot of fun ripping around both these machines, carve around on them, try and find some jumps, and we're gonna go down this very cool wash that's over here on the side. The state park created it as a one-way route, and you can carve down along through that wash. So you ready to go rip? Let's go!
<laughs> oh yeah! Not a bad little spot, right? No, this is really chill. <laughs> There's one thing I want to talk about. Yeah. Is you got a snowboard here. Well, it's a snowboard converted to a sandboard. <laughs> it won't even move. <laughs> <laughs> what's the verdict, Dan? Uh, sandboarding still not cool. Gappy. Sandboarding, what's the verdict here? <laughs> I guess it could be fun for some, not fun for me. Let's say uh, we get back to our regular scheduled program. Yes. It's just like gripping for days. Yeah, yeah. Good day, fun place. Pretty hyped on the Coral Pink Sand Dunes. What about you? Me too, man. This is cool. It's a beautiful spot. It's easy to get to. And you know what? It's been really chill. It hasn't been crazy packed. The temperature is just right. I mean, it's perfect. I thought I was going to be melting out here today, and it's legitimately perfect. All right, that concludes this episode of Ken Block Something Something Awesome Something Guide to Can Am Spots. <laughs> That concludes our episode. <laughs> <laughs>